okay, going to show you how Catholics totally butcher and twist Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 to prove their pagan system. Just like any cult, the Roman Catholic cult takes its one verse and basically bases their whole system off one verse out of context. And that's what every single cult does, and the Catholic cult does the same thing. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 says, And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And they take this one verse and say, see, he's talking about the Catholic Church. We have a couple of problems there because this is before the crucifixion, so the New Testament Church didn't even exist yet. But first of all, you have, it brings up the question, who is the rock that he's talking about? Because the Catholics, they'll say the rock is Peter, which is ridiculous. By comparing scripture with scripture, we'll clearly see the rock is not Peter, but the rock is actually God, Jesus Christ. That's who he's referring to. He says upon this rock, referring to himself. 1 Corinthians 10.4 1 Corinthians 10.4 And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. So who is the rock? It's Jesus Christ. Ephesians 2.19-20 Now therefore we are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So again, who is the rock? It's Jesus Christ, it's not Peter. And in fact, it's actually ironic because there are verses where Peter calls Jesus Christ the rock. Because in one of these verses, Jesus Christ is called the rock by Peter. So if Peter's the rock, why is he calling Jesus Christ the rock? It's ridiculous. Deuteronomy 32, 3-4. Here are references to God the Father being the rock. Deuteronomy 23, or 32, sorry, verses 3-4. to four. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect, perfect for all his ways are, ju are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. So God is the rock. He is the rock. It says that plainly. He is the rock. Uh, Psalms 18, verse 12. Psalms 18, verse 12. Or oh, sorry, it was Psalms 18, verse 2. Sorry, not verse 12. My bad. Psalms 18, 2. The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will, I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. So he says, God is his rock, basically. So it's not Peter. Peter's never once called the rock. When Jesus says, upon this rock, I mentioned this, mentioned this earlier, upon this rock is in reference to himself. It's basically referring to himself. It's not referring to Peter, because Peter calls Jesus Christ the rock in different verses. And... If Peter was the first pope, you know, how does that work? Because he denied a lot of the Catholic heresies, like indulgences, like basically being rich, all this other stuff. He denied reverence, you know, in Acts chapter 10. So Peter was not the first pope, and Jesus Christ is the rock, not Peter. So just another Catholic scripture and, and just heresy that they totally have to twist and, and just, they'll take scriptures out of context and just totally twist and they won't compare scripture with scripture like we're commanded to. They'll just take one verse out of context and basically base their whole system off that. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is pagan. It is satanic. It's just pagan Roman religion masquerading as Bible-believing Christianity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.